Hi guys, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about negative people because a lot of people have asked me lately how to deal with negative people, how to work past dealing with negative people, or how to change um, the negative people that they deal with. So it's definitely worth talking about because we've all definitely had to deal with this sort of situation. Um, I know I have, and again, a few of you have asked me, so you guys definitely have too. It's not easy to deal with negative people, especially the ones who like are harboring on pessimism or just what that like negative, awful, angry, like always have something to say about whatever, always looking for a problem where there isn't one. There are those people out there and we can move past that. Like you can decide to work through that. So hopefully these tips help you. Um, when you are dealing with a negative person, whether you work with them, whether they're your family member or a friend, you have one of two choices to make. You can either meet their vibration where it is, that bothered, angry, pessimistic energy, and you meet that energy when you are focusing on how angry they are and letting it bother you, or you can rise above their vibration and decide to focus on something better. And something that does work pretty well is make a list of their positive qualities. Look for, it can be one thing. It can be that they have really nice teeth. Like it can be something like really, really small, but if you look for some quality that they have, that you enjoy, that you like about them, like that you genuinely think is awesome about this person, and you focus on that, it will make more qualities like that grow and you will pull that out of them because when you're focusing on their negative qualities and how they complain and all that stuff, you're pulling that out of them. But when you start to look at what is good about them because there is so much good in so many people, you just have to like, you have to invite it to come out. So when you focus on the good, the good comes. When you focus on the bad, the bad comes. Um, so try doing that. Try looking for their positive qualities. And then when you're with this person, when you know you're going to see them, get yourself into a high vibrational place. Get yourself into alignment with your universe, with your higher self. And don't allow any um, pessimism or anything to pull you back down. It's difficult. And some days may be really, really easy and you may be able to get through the day, like in your vortex or whatever. And some days you may not. And that's okay. Um... We're all just moving through this. You're going to have that kind of contrast Those people are gonna come into your life, but it's just how much you let them affect you that really matters. I mean, you could have um, angry, negative person in your life all day long, and if you don't pay attention to it and you just kind of let yourself vibe on your own like high vibrational frequency, eventually they will either leave or they will level up because you will um, kind of overpower your reality and allow that person to step up into who they could be in a, in a very positive state. Because if there is a negative person, they can be positive. Like they can change, it can happen, but you have to be willing to put the work in and kind of invite them to come up there. And if they don't, that's fine. Like, they, like I said, they'll either leave or they'll change. But the decision to stay positive is up to you. It's also important to remember that their anger or the things that bother them, they don't have anything to do with you. When these people snap, when they get angry, when they yell, whatever, when they start like crying, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It has to do with their own life, with their own experiences that you may not understand, and they're working through their own thing. So by being that light and that like positive, like high vibrational person, you are helping them because you are being that like positive source of light. And when you do that, you may be someone who isn't very happy. You might be like their saving grace because you might be their inspiration to up their vibration, to level up their life, which would be really, really awesome. Um, don't try to be so protective of your alignment. If you get knocked into contrast, it's okay. You can get back into feeling like really, really awesome. All you have to do is just 
take a couple of minutes to breathe, meditate, get back into your feel-good state. Like, it's okay if the conditions around you aren't perfect because you have control over your state of being. So it may sound a little corny to choose to stay positive, but it works, it helps. Um, quite a few people say that they will see this person surround in a bubble of love light and that it's not, it may not work for them. And if it's not working, it could be because when you do this, you have to be in a state of unconditional love and feel that love for that person and really see that person as love light, as an extension of you and, and, and truly have that love for them. Um, but if you don't, if there's like a disconnect and if you're just doing it to try and get them to feel good and like leave, it doesn't work as well or it doesn't work. So do that list of positive qualities about that person, the positive aspects, and then try to see them in that love light. See them laughing, see them smiling. That is a big one. That's one that really works for me when you see this person before you meet up with them, like having a good day, it, it does invite them to come into a high vibration. And it actually, like I said, it works really, really well. So I try to do that with people all the time. Not even people who are negative, just people who um, I know because I want to I want to be with people who feel good. So I see them feeling good and then I feel good and then usually they are feeling pretty good as well. I don't know if it's a coincidence or what, but it works. So yeah, that is dealing with negative people. Choose to stay in your own vibration. Choose to not let those people affect you. Again, it's difficult and some days are gonna be easier than others and some people will be easier than others to deal with, but you got this, I know you do. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any ideas for videos you want me to record or questions, just let me know because I would love to help you guys. Um, yeah, best of luck to all of you who are dealing with negative people out there. I know you can do this and um, yeah. So I hope you all have an amazing day and are creating some really amazing things. I'm Abby, love and light.